Unveiling Copper Oxide Rolling CO2 Photo Reduction Process, Catalyst or Reactant. This paper was published in Catalysis Communications and was written by André Nogueira, Gelson Silva, Jéssica de Oliveira, Juliana Torres, Mitchell da Silva, Marcelo Carmo and Cauê Ribeiro. The problem of global warming due to carbon dioxide emission in large amounts has been aggravated by increasing energy demand and photocatalysis using solar light is an environmental friendly way for energy production and storage. Among semiconductor catalysts for this reaction, copper oxides are promising, but stability is still a major issue. In this work, we have analyzed the activity and stability of copper oxide produced by different synthetic methods in a CO2 photoreduction experiment. Three synthetic methods were chosen to produce copper oxide nanoparticles due to their different surface features. The samples were subjected to CO2 photoreduction, and the results showed that copper oxide acts as a reactant during the CO2 reduction through copper carbonate formation rather than a catalyst, but the S formed malachite is active as catalyst for the same reaction. In addition to stability, changes are also evident in the morphologies, as can be seen in the images after CO2 photoreduction. The stability, morphology, and electronic properties of the semiconductor have a key role in the photocatalyst's performance. Copper oxide was not stable during the process of CO2 photoreduction, change for copper oxide to malachite. However, a significant conversion of CO2 was observed during the copper oxide carbonation process. The results reported here contribute to elucidation of the role of copper oxide in the process of CO2 photoreduction, providing important information for the rationale development of copper oxide catalysts for this process. For further details, please see the paper published in Catalysis Communications.